Hiya! Ha! I am here in Midtown Manhattan with Gabby Rubin, who is an extraordinary self-defense instructor teaching women night after night how to protect themselves, and she's gonna give us her tips for you. Someone puts their hands on you, you don't think you react. Women possess a sixth sense that men do not. Trust that voice. If it's telling you something doesn't feel right, it's probably not right. I always want you to strike first because one, it helps you remember what am I supposed to do next, and two, it might loosen up the bad guy enough that that might be all you need to okay. do. Okay, boom, uh. and then bam, like that. Perfect. Act as if. If you're in a neighborhood you're not so sure about, don't look like you're lost. Right. You know, act as if this is exactly where you're meant to be. Head up, look straight ahead, shoulders back, have some attitude. There it is. Right, right. <laughs> I want you to learn how to use your voice, so if somebody does grab yeah. you, get off me! Ooh. Might be all you need. So instead of you poking in the eye, you yeah. might just use your voice. Yeah. And then grab yeah. and get out. Yeah. Okay. Get off me! So it has to have attitude and it has to have volume. If I say, Jane, no one's going to care. But if I say, Jane, people are going to turn. Yeah. Instead of yelling help, we yell fire. Fire! Fire! That might startle him. You know, if you're going shopping and you're inundated with bags, you have no way to fight back. So consolidate your bags and keep a hand free. I will make a reason why I take off running. What? Oh my God, I'm, I'll be on my, I'm on my way. If I'm walking and talking on the street, I lose the use of this hand. I can't hear a bad guy coming up behind me because I'm too busy talking or listening to you, and I can't see anybody. Well, what's even worse, I always walk around with these in my ears. I'm right. like, listen to music, right? And that's a bad idea. Yes. If you want to listen to music or you want to be on the phone, yeah. Just take out one. So a simple thing to do, make a gun with your fingers. You can just poke someone in the eye, okay? You can do, right? You always want to pull it back yeah. into the throat. Yeah. Okay? <coughs> take my gun. I go a little gangster with it, mm -hmm. okay? And I go right Boom. in. Boom. Right. The knee definitely does a lot of damage. Right. right. All right? The elbows are the strongest thing you have to hit with. So okay. you have an elbow. Ah. <coughs> Good. You have a foot stomp. Good, or you can kick your own butt. Uh, okay. Get off me. Just like this elbow. Right get there. off me. Get off me. Legs are longer and stronger than the arms, okay? Right. So if I fell to the ground, all I would do is get into this kind of position. Get away! Fire! Help! Help! Fire! Okay. Right? Yeah. A couple of times when I've had a knock on the door that I thought, and I'd be like, uh, honey, um, Come to the door, and then I'll be like, what? What do you want? Safety items are meant to be on you, in your pocket, ready to go. This mm -hmm. is a Kubaton. Feel it. It's Kubaton. just It's plastic. It's hollow. Oh. It's light, right? Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Like I said, you poke fleshy parts, yeah. you hit bone on the nose. This will do yeah. enough for you to get away. Yeah. Oh, boy, okay. on a nose, on a nose, this thing, you're going to a plastic surgeon. If someone's dragging you, you hold on, and you drop. And scream. Absolutely. Always scream. I'm coming up. I'm the bad guy. Boom. <laughs> Fire! Fire! We want to be part of the solution, and we want women to protect themselves, be strong, be fierce, and stay out of problems. Because once that problem starts, it is often tragic. We have to be prepared, women. We really do.